guys how are you uh, i just wanted to share this with you guys real quick don't mind me i'm like scooch you over because obviously the camera angle and stuff like that but anybody that's probably doing keto diet or starting and likes sweets because i'm a sucker for sweets i'm a woman i like sweets <laughs> that's it so i found this recipe online i always find certain recipes online now with the keto diet um i've been doing it for now i think i'm at my second or third week i'm not sure i gotta check because i've been cooking so many different dishes i lost count um and i can show you guys a video i'll probably do a video with all the foods i've been doing and if you guys are interested in the recipes and stuff like that then i'll let you know but a lot of recipes I googled online or I googled like an idea that I had and see what works and what not. If you know what falls with the keto and stuff like that as far as sweets and obviously foods, then it's easy to come up with, on, with your own recipes and stuff like that. But I do like to find certain recipes and try them out myself and see if they work for me. But I always like to tweak stuff and add or take out... Um, uh certain things like if i don't have a certain ingredient i don't go crazy over not having exact as follows in a recipe because i know what i can substitute for or i know if i could go without it that's just if you know how to cook you just know how to work those stuff but these are the chocolate chip cookies i just wanted to share you guys with you guys real quick on how to make it is quick easy steps takes 12 minutes 10 to 12 minutes to bake no problem 350 degrees um, I did um, use the cupcake tray because I do not have no more foil. Otherwise, I would have laid them out on foil or, um, you know, baking paper or something like that. But um, yesterday I did them, but I did them into little balls, which I can show you guys once I, you know, um, put it all together. And they just toasted like that. They don't shape like normal cookies. So they just stay in whatever the form or shape you put them in. So it's kind of cool. So if you want to shape them up, you can. They'll bake just like that. They won't move. Um, but I ate them like that. And they, they tasted great to me. I couldn't believe something that didn't require eggs or butter or anything came out so good. So the ingredients in here is just obviously almond flour. Super fine almond flour. I got this from Walmart. It, this stuff is kind of expensive pretty pricey but it's i think like 10 to 11 dollars so it's one cup of almond flour then you get lilies i did find it in walmart as well um this is the milk chocolate one i do have the dark chocolate one as well they have white chocolate chips whichever flavor you like um if they carry it um this is like five dollars but it doesn't have I, it's eight uh grams of carbs and um Obviously, less than one gram of sugar is from ether, ether roll. I don't know how to pronounce that. So, and you'll take one fourth tablespoon of baking powder in there. Make sure you just mix it fine because you don't want any side to be bitter of it. The chips, I'm going to put it in there. I feel like as much as you want um, as far as chips. I already put the almond flour. Um... One fourth tablespoon of salt in there already. And um, stevia or whatever sweetener you got for sugar. This is also from Walmart. I don't know the price of this. I don't remember. Um, it's good for baking and stuff like that. But um, depends on what, what kind of sugar you want to use. Um, so that's in the two tablespoons. So I'm going to put my chips in there. That's already in here. I already stirred it up because... Obviously, I don't want that bitter taste. I use this spray to spray on the sheet so it does not stick. I'm just stirring all this up. In the lear. See, see, you guys can see what I'm doing. So now I'm gonna add to the mixture of coconut oil. Don't mind this, this thing melted some some way, somehow. And this is actually from Walmart too, because I can see it says great value, great value. Uh, two tablespoons about. And this to me, I believe the coconut oil gives it such a good flavor to the cookies. When it's baked, it gives that baked coconutty taste oh my goodness it's so good 
And like I said, add extra chocolate chips if you want to. I put half a cup and I'm adding a little bit more. And I didn't notice these cookies, you can actually eat them raw. I need to get my almond milk. You're going to use two tablespoons of unsweetened almond milk or um, whatever milk you have there. And actually as needed, but last, yesterday I used two tablespoons and it seemed like it was fine. Do you want to stir it, stir it, stir it? Don't think that consistency is not going to get there because it is. It starts to get together. So the consistency should start to build up like this after stirring it up, stirring it up, stirring it up. See you guys. And no, you cannot use coconut flour with this because it's a different type of grain. It would not work properly. But you could make these as keto bombs, refrigerate them and eat them just like that. But you don't need the baking soda for that. You know we like our keto bombs. I like the keto bombs. You can add chocolate to it, peanut butter, whatever you want. Think about any cookies. I'm just gonna rinse my hands. I'm gonna shape them up. Lay them out, bake them, and then I'll show you guys how they turn. It's pretty simple. And a lot of the keto diet stuff, not for nothing, low carb stuff. The recipes are pretty quick and easy and require no to low baking when it comes to desserts. Most of the desserts are keto bombs and they go in the refrigerator. And 30 minutes, poof, they're done. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it smells good too. Look at that dough. And you can refrigerate it and use it for another time. You don't have to um use it right away i had to ball them up this is actually how i toasted them up yesterday like this right on the tray today i'm just balling it up and then i'm gonna shape them because now i know you have to shape them into a cookie look at that so cute look at that and i'll place it on my buttery sheet I did put a little spray butter. I did do like, um, I did peanut butter Reese's cups. Obviously keto way. If you guys wanna see that recipe, let me know. Comment below. You know what to do guys. Subscribe, like, let me know what you think. Let me know what ideas you have. Let me know if you wanna see me do certain recipes you've probably seen or that you have, or that you try it out, let me know. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna take it out of the oven. I'm gonna time it, put it in the oven, take it out and show it to you guys once it's complete. So this will be the ingredients you need, the only ingredients you need for this cookies. And this is what they look like, getting ready to go into the oven. So it makes eight cookies for the amount that I said in this recipe makes about eight cookies for me. Um, all depends on how thick you make them, I guess. And you're welcome to do double batch or whatnot. And like I said, I just put it in this tray because this is what I have. But if I had foil, I would have put it there. It's just good to place them in the middle rack. And we're gonna time it here. Well, minutes. I'll be back. So, guys, actually, at 350 um, temperature, you want to put it at 425 if you want to finish um, toasting them and browning them quicker because they were taking a little longer at 350. It was taking more towards 20 to 30 minutes rather than 15 but 
I put the temperature up and look how nice and brown and toasty they are now. I'm letting them cool and then I'll take them out. And it doesn't even dirty the rack, see? Oh, they smell so good. Please let me know if you guys try the recipe, what you guys think, what you added or subtracted to it. If it was good, if it was tasty, if you disliked it, it doesn't matter. Please comment, subscribe, hit that like button below. Thanks for watching. Ciao. There you have it. Make sure they cool off when you take them out and you don't want them to make them too, too thin because this does make them fragile. They are on the thick side, see that? Look at that. Beautiful looking cookies. Mm -mm -mm.